Ah, sweet new boat. Very nice, very nice indeed. What else going on here? Windows. Huh, there's an update. Let's get it. All right, so it looks like there's an update to the Hydrosim game, uh, version 7.1.0. Let's go get that and install it. Show you a couple uh, little tips on that as well. So as we're doing that, uh, we've got a couple videos coming up. This is going to be just a couple little update the game and look at some getting team boats transferred over. Then the next one will be to get ready to paint a boat because there's some visual, uh, you got to have kind of a vision of what you want to do and get some ideas first. Makes life a lot easier when it comes time to paint the boat. Also prep in some of the imagery, sometimes transparent backgrounds aren't actually transparent. So in that video, I'll show you that and then we'll paint a boat. So right now, just uh, basically download and uh, update the game. Okay, looks like the download has finished. So let's get to it. All right, it is under downloads. Here it is right here. All we have to do is drop that into place. But where? So uh, here's Teams. I'll show you a little trick here in a second too. Teams, I'm gonna open this in a new window. It's gonna take me at least to where my old one was. H1 Sim, this is where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it right where my old one was. If I drag this and drop it in right there, it's gonna transfer all that over and it will be the new version of the game will be there. Two other things I wanna do though. Get this back down off the screen. Okay, down here is my shortcut for the game, right? Because uh, it's important. You always gotta have a shortcut for that. Okay, I'm gonna unpin this from the taskbar because that was for the old game. So here, if we see, there's our 7.1, that EXE, now that is the one that matters. I'm gonna pin to taskbar, there we go. So now that is the new game. I'm gonna load it up, let's check it out real quick. Oh, this always shows up? Yes, more info. Run anyway. I trust him, it's good stuff. All right, the new game looks like this here. I'm gonna click on, the first one didn't load in, so there you go, now it's loading in. Okay, so we are back to just the base uh, boats in the game. And that's it. Okay, see we've looped around already. So we have to move teams over is one of the things we have to do. I'm gonna check real quick and see if anybody's on, no they're not. All right, so uh, if you haven't seen already, when you go to a server and you join and the other boats are there, I'll show you basically what to look for. Uh, there's a kind of a yield sign looking thing. Okay, so if he was on right now, there'd be a little, uh, the U77, it's not uploaded yet. I don't have that in this version of the game. So there'll be a yield sign somewhere like over here and then up in here somewhere there'll be another yield sign and you can basically click that and it will download that exact boat and you will have it in the Teams folders, ready to go. Sweet update. Thank you, Scott. Very nice. All right, let's get out of here and I'm gonna go look at something else. Um, okay, we're gonna move boats. All right, let's just, well, let's see here. H1 Sim, here's our two versions, right? I'm gonna right click on this one, open a new window. And there we go. Squeeze that over there, and this is the other one. Nope, either one, yeah, that one. All right, so this is 7.04, and if I click right here, now we've got the 7.1, all right? There they both are, this is two versions of the game. Data, assets, teams. So that's our new version, right? Over here on the old version, data, assets, teams, there's all the boats. So what I can do, grab, I'm um, just move down to the bottom of my screen, it's getting absolutely everything. You can move them directly. I want to have both, because I don't care about the space it takes. I just did copy, now I'm over here, right click, paste, 
And there we go. So that's all. That's going to move everything over, but it's also going to keep the, the ones in the old game. Um, you may not have as many boats. I like it's like Pokemon. Catch them all. I got to catch them all. You may only want the, the regular ones, uh, real boats, fantasy boats, and all that. When this pops up, I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, actually, I'm going to say skip these files because basically it came with the boats. So they're probably the most updated ones. So I'm going to say skip those files. And there we go. Done and done. One other cool little thing. I'm going to close this one. Just look at this one here. So this is the the new the new game. There it is, 7.10. All right. If I go click there, uh, assets, and now I have teams here. If I right click teams and say pin to quick access, now right over here, teams pinned right there. I'll show you why that's very helpful here in just a moment. Let's go to the place online, the Google Drive where all the boats are. I happen to know there's a new boat, that Reese's boat. It's under fantasy. And if I go up here, there it is. I'm going to double click it, download, and it's downloading. Okay. And it's ready. So I'm going to go ahead and close this, bring up the folder. One of these will do. All right, I'm clicking downloads. Here's my boat right here. So now, since we, we pinned that over on the left side here, right there, the pinned one, it happens to be there because I've been going there a lot. But actually, that one goes to the other one. So this Teams one that has the little pin in it, that is exactly what I need. All I have to do is click it and set it right there. And it's in. So we can check that out with all the other boats, just like that. All right, there it is. This is a good looking boat. I dig it. It's got a few very nice touches. Got a big cup right there, getting eaten by the boat, Peter Butter. So one thing I want you to notice is see this, uh, so this here, that's his right hand sticking up, and on the other side, it's his left hand sticking up. So that is one image that has been flipped so that it could have the right look on both sides of the boat. Sometimes you can flip them and they'll look right, sometimes they won't. Um, the Reese's here has a bit of an angle going back and a bit of an angle going back here, so that's pretty good. And uh, a nice touch on the bottom of this boat. I always like to have something fun on the bottom of a boat. I like that. And this particular boat looks very good on the trailer. First time popping up, this pops up, allow access. Check out the work he did there. So I'm going to go down to fly and there we go. So he's got the lineup going there. He's got the Washington State plate, big cup. Very nice. There's a little guy again. Very nice look. Check that out. Very good. All right, well that wraps up that video. Now we're gonna move on to other topics, getting ready to paint our own boat. Okay, see you in the next one.